Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Blender to relink IDs. The reason you'll use Blender instead of Hex Editor is that it will always work as long as you can load the file in the program. And uh, it's a bit annoying to set up, but once you have it set up, it should work for any ID length. So you can change ID lengths from 3 to 6, or 5 to 4, or 6 to 5. And it's a lot easier than using Hex Editor because uh, Hex Editor not only does it sometimes not work, but it's a bit of an annoying process you have to do. And yeah, sometimes it just doesn't work. So the first thing you need to do is download Blender. Uh, 2.79 and you just download this here download uh, yeah just download 2.79 don't download the latest one and then you want to download PES 2021 hair face modifier and as you can see it says it works for Blender 2.79 which is why you need to uh, download the older version of Blender and uh, when you install it you open Blender and you go file user preferences add-on and then you install add-on from file and you install it uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that but essentially that you can find it on YouTube how to install add-ons or even how to install this specific add-on and uh, when you start a new scene it will be like this and then you need to go here scroll down this might not be expanded to expand this and you need to extract face CPK so what you need to do is find the face you want to you want to relink so uh, this is Danilo uh, from Palmeiras that moved to Nottingham Forest and he has a face from HD Face Maker here so download this and then when you download it it looks like this it has this ID so this ID as far as I know doesn't exist in the uh, database so I'm just gonna check that this is my converted database that I used in the last video and we'll see if there's a player with this ID I don't think there is as far as I know the uh, the real player's ID is yet to be assigned because Palmeiras isn't licensed in PES 2021. So as you can see this player ID doesn't exist and this is just a random ID that was assigned by the face maker. Um, I'm not really a fan of this but it's whatever they want to do with it I guess. <coughs> so anyway you have this face uh, ID and you can just extract it. I'm going to take it to my desktop to, easier, to make it easier to find. And once you're here, you need to make sure you start a new scene. Go back to the tool, extract face CPK. And then you go to where it's here. So this is on the desktop. You go to Windows and you find that face FPK file. Now you don't see anything here. You need to import the face. I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I always do it. Make sure you don't, uh, make sure you don't modify the original file. So make sure you extract it first. Otherwise there might be problems. After importing it, uh, change it to the ID you want. So the ID I want is 160000 because this is the ID I gave Danilo in my database. So just to show you, as you can see he doesn't have a face. And uh, yeah, after you've entered the ID you want, you want to relink it by pressing these two arrows, then export it, and then just wait for it to finish. And here it will say face is exported successfully. Convert DDS to FTX and then you want to click create face fpk file so you just wait to finish then click clear unused files and as you can see the file that I had uh, on my desktop has now changed IDs and just paste it in paste it into your face root as you can see now his face has been relinked the example that I used uh, was still from six digits to six digits, but this will work regardless of the digit length, regardless of uh, of any of those factors really. Sometimes there is a problem where exporting the face. So remember when I did this step here, where I clicked on export, export hair, export face. Sometimes this causes a problem, and uh, the face textures get corrupted. If the face textures get corrupted. You're going to go back to the original download. Remember, this is where the old ID is. And you just want to copy all of these files into your installation. So that's if the textures get corrupted. And you just replace all of this. Because what you're doing is reloading all of these in the program. Sometimes it corrupts it. So you might want to uh, overwrite them with the original files again if it gets corrupted. But yeah. This should work for any ID. Thanks for watching.